Hi, I'm Ted Clancy, and this is Eye on WP. Hello everybody, my name is Ted Clancy and welcome to this edition of Eye on WP. As always, Eye on WP takes an in-depth look at a particular area or program that helps to make up the intricate fabric of William Patterson University. The organization that we're going to look at today forms part of the bedrock of the university, having been in existence in one form or another since the very beginning, since we were a normal school in the city of Patterson. This stream of educators has conceived, implemented and maintained programs over the decades that have helped thousands of men and women. And they continue to grow in order to serve the needs of an ever-expanding global community without once losing sight of their local and regional responsibilities. Their graduates have influenced in very fundamental ways students of all ages all over the world. Today, we'll be visiting with some of the people who are a part of the College of Education. First, let's get an idea of its history. William Patterson started off as a, as a teacher's college. Uh, and so teaching, we recently celebrated the 150th anniversary. That was really a 150th anniversary of teaching and preparing teachers. And certainly as the college changed over time, other programs were added and have become uh, premier programs as well. Uh, but I think that we are at teaching is at the core of what we do and it's probably reflected in the the teaching of the faculty in general. And that's one of the reasons I think I'm so passionate about Patterson. The, the, the university started in Patterson and it started as a teacher training institution and so the college has been a major force at the, in the university f since its inception. And so the, the history of, of the College of Ed has been um, how can I say, has, has been a good one <laughs> um, because of our history of being in the community and uh, training teachers not only to be inquiring educators but also to be multicultural educators as well. William Patterson started many years ago as a normal school for teachers and so its focus has always been in education and um, I think it's come a long way in terms of expanding that role where we offer many different programs in the College of Education to uh, teachers, to aspiring leaders, to school counselors, uh, to special education teachers. And so I, I think we serve a lot of different purposes for the school and the communities around the surrounding area here. The College of Education is what really has sustained William Patterson University from becoming a normal school. Um, we have not really gone too far from our roots, although originally in Patterson, just up the hill. Um, and I think that we've really stood true to our mission. Our mission was to become a premier institution of preparing you know, outstanding, highly qualified teachers, and I think we do a great job. Next, we'll take a look at some of the programs as well as some of the jobs that people do in the College of Education. We have extensive graduate programs here in the College of Ed. So we work to prepare principals, to pre pre prepare specialists in a variety of fields, uh, reading specialists, mathematics specialists, ESL bilingual, early childhood specialists, so we, uh, counselors. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a wide array of programs for uh, people that are professionals already and want to come back to school to enhance their skills and knowledge. I'm the director of the Child Development Center and we're here, um, we work in conjunction with the College of Education. So the um, students enrolled in the P3 program, both the undergraduates and alternate route um, students will come here and some of them do practicum, some of them do student teaching, some of them are here to do observation. I'm off campus quite a bit as well, meeting with um, local superintendents, local principals, um, other you know, state groups that Les and I belong to, oh. uh, to keep abreast of what's going on mm -hmm. you know, at different levels of government that impact teacher oh, right. education. 
For about eight years now, I've been the director of the Office of Field Experiences, and uh, that is, I think it's the heart of what we do here at the College of Education because we're uh, working with all the school districts uh, to place our students in practicum and student teaching. I'm able to be a part of the pre-service part when our candidates decide here at the university that they want to become teachers. I'm a part of the part of helping to cultivate that, ultimately bringing them into the aspect of going out into the field, such as Passaic, Patterson, Garfield, and of course even our local community of Wayne. In speaking with uh, the faculty, and, and I know part of the university's uh, mission is community outreach. Now I think you guys are involved with quite a bit of that. Is there uh, just one or two uh, things that you can that you can highlight that oh, yeah. that people might be interested in yeah. hearing about. One, one of the issues that we have uh, and we confront is that the urban centers are on, are often areas where one the uh, the teachers are not often the most um, I guess well prepared. And in working with Patterson, one of the things that we did was we. Uh, initiated some five years ago a project called Patterson Teachers for Tomorrow as an example. That project <laughs> takes students from the high schools in Patterson, brings them on to William Patterson's campus with the understanding that they're going to go back to Patterson. We get involved in, in uh, Garfield, Passaic, in, in, other, in other districts. I run a program called Patterson Teachers for Tomorrow. And that program uh, mentors students in three high schools, in the three major high schools in Patterson. Mentors them, students who want to be teachers. Mm -hmm. And um, we take them out on field trips to Broadway plays and, and to try to give them a, a well-rounded sort of experience. And uh, so long as they've been involved in FTA clubs, in Future Teacher of America clubs, as well as um, volunteer work, we invite them to come to come to William Patterson to apply to William Patterson and we give them a full scholarship tuition only scholarship okay. so long as they also promise to go back to Patterson to teach so what we're doing really is grooming teacher insiders or what the literature uh, calls community teachers we do a lot of outreach programs one are these partnership schools that we're involved with uh, so we invest in having faculty who are there full-time some, sometimes one or two days a week um, we're always looking at how, and in particular related to my area, um, nationally uh, the, the expectation is to have students out in schools as early as possible and doing as much as soon as possible. We don't expect all of our graduates to be in positions of leadership such as principals or assistant principals, although many of them are. Um, what we hope is that even as teacher leaders, that they can make a difference in their schools. And so our, our focus is on leadership at all levels, whether it be teacher leadership or ultimately principal leadership, or in one case, we even have one of our graduates who's now superintendent of schools in New Jersey. Our goal is to bring sustained, high-quality professional development to the local school districts for the teachers who are currently teaching, and then place our in-service or pre-service teachers, those who are in training, in those buildings so that not only do the teachers who work there get this great development, but also the teachers who prepare here. So ultimately, we're preparing better teachers for our children in our local public school districts. There are two ways to mow your lawn, the old mow and bag, or you can grass cycle. When you grass cycle, you let clippings fall back to the soil. It saves time, effort, and the environment. The mow and bag takes longer, makes waste, and then you got to restart that mower. Grass cycling is fast, leaving time for more important things. So don't bag it, grass cycle. Brought to you by William Patterson University of New Jersey and Earth 911. Welcome back to IONWP, and thanks for staying with us. You know, I'm a musician, a sound engineer, and a sportsman, and I know what gets me going and keeps me interested, but I'm also really interested on a human level in what motivates and fascinates other people. What gets you like going every day that makes you want to come here and, and, and do what you're doing? I think the, ex the thing that is exciting is working with the students because uh, you're helping young people get a start, uh, I also employ approximately 
uh, 80 retired principals and superintendents go out and do observations along with our full-time uh, faculty uh, in the schools and uh, so we do a lot of work and uh, training with them to keep them um, current if new standards come along and things like that. I had no idea that it would be so extensive. 80, you said? Uh, right. 80 retired Right. Principals and teachers. In addition to our full-time people. Wow. One of my students, one of my PT4C students, who also happens to be in one of the classes that I teach, an intro to education class, and she, at the beginning of, of the year, she said, I don't know who you are. I don't know who Jana Hill Brisbane is. And um, she just wrote me a letter, and, and she said in that letter, um, I, I finally know who this person is. She is a strong caring black woman and that that brought tears to my eyes yeah because here I am being a role model for the student on WP I'm proud to announce a new segment called learners to earners that will give us some insight into the progression from the academic environment into the work environment in today's learners to earners we'll visit with a William Patterson College of Education graduate in his position as a physical education teacher in a New Jersey high school Along the way, he'll share with us a lot of what his William Patterson education means to him and to his colleagues. Uh, my name is Eric Stanko. I work at the uh, Union County Magnet High School, and I'm a fitness and health instructor. Uh, I get here about a half hour early just to set things up. There's a lot of setup in PE. Um, I actually go over. Station is housed at 1600 Valley Road in Wayne, New Jersey. This is one of William Patterson's newest facilities, and it's equipped with the latest teaching tools. I asked my guests what they thought of the technology available to them at William Patterson. It's absolutely wonderful. It's premier. Everything is at your fingertips. Technology. Uh, I think it changed the way our faculty teach um, because they're able to walk in and have at their command um, the internet access, uh, you know, videos, uh, just all kinds of ways to bring things into their teaching. Any kind of technology you need, including access to the internet, is available from your teaching platform in the classroom, which is so very, very critical. I'm also able to um, incorporate websites or, or the computer computer applications in my class and I can do that by showing them for example let's go to discovery.com and I can I'm able to do that the technology I think is really state-of-the-art um, I actually teach um, document camera acts as a overhead projector and so this this document camera is it's much more uh, 2000 high-tech kind of yeah. device where we can actually not only put a overhead on the document camera but we can also just take a book for example and put that right on the document camera and it doc the document camera sees the words instead of it having to be see-through. We have to make sure that our students know what are some of the things that are out there that they need to use as an aid to whatever the content of that curriculum is to be delivered as part of the class as opposed to an ad. The, the technology now to be used just as if you were using chalk mm -hmm. on a blackboard. And that's something that we prepare our students to do. It is amazing to see what we are able to offer our students by the way of um, our teaching ability not just preaching that they need to know how to use technology, but actually modeling by using it in our classrooms so that we bring a, a higher level of learning to our students. I, I would find it very difficult to teach in an environment without this kind of technology. I, I think it adds so much to the uh, um, understandings of what you're trying to do with, with the candidates in your program. It adds <clears throat> an incredible richness to the uh, teaching and learning experience, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. It's like painting with lots of colors. So the technology here, meets the needs of our pre-service students, it meets the needs of the districts, and we basically lead in, in that area. So um, I'm very comfortable with that. Hey, changing your oil? Yep. I'm just about finished. Can you hand me that wrench? Here, take this. What's this for? Recycling your motor oil. Just call 1-800-CLEANUP and they'll tell you the closest place to take it. Hey, I know you. Finish the job and recycle it. I've been changing my own oil for over 40 years. Back to I on WP. Just a few years ago, my family and I were grappling with the question of where our son should go to college. And this is one of the most important questions that we asked. 
Why should I send my son or daughter here to study? What's special here that I... Well, I'm thinking about sending my son here, so... Well, that's a pretty good recommendation. <laughs> right. We've brought to the university some of the finest faculty who are used to teaching in urban education. We have brought on supervisors and adjuncts who are still working in the field to work with our pre-service teachers at night so that there is a continuum. Not about what used to be popular in schools, but what they need to know on a practical basis to come in and become a successful member of the educational community. And in turn, we produce great teachers. I think William Patterson is really one of the best kept secrets. The governor has a recognition program um, for outstanding teachers, and each school chooses themselves one outstanding teacher. And in Passaic County, they have a lunch to recognize these. And I think there are 70 schools in Passaic County. Out of the 70, how many do you think were William Patterson graduates? Oh, I have no idea. Half of them? Uh, it was 50 something out of the 70. So, <laughs> well, you know, and, and we didn't it? we didn't choose those students. Those right. were, I mean, those teachers, right. those were teachers that the schools themselves were recognizing. Oh, because we have the best programs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, but um, we also have a program with students who are not necessarily interested in, te in, in going to Patterson, but want to just teach in an urban environment. We have a, an urban program for them where they not only do their student teaching in in an urban school, but also their practicum in an urban school, so they can they they'll have um, more of an experience, more in-depth experience in one school. But not only do we have urban programs, but we have state-of-the-art teachers here, educators here, very caring educators who really think about how can we develop the entire child, not necessarily, or the entire student, not necessarily in their particular major, but how can we develop them as a whole person and make them a member of this democratic society, yeah? So, um, so I would say our teachers and our programs. In the College of Ed, we have a nationally accredited college, College of Education. We just received, again, after many, many years, we've been accredited, but we received it again, uh, accreditation from the National Council for the Accreditation of Teacher Education. Okay. Very prestigious. And um, so we're recognized nationally as a quality program. One of the good things about William Patterson University is, is that we work with students from all, I don't care wherever they're, wherever they're from, but Wayne in particular, um, we have relationships with the schools in Wayne, and we send our students, our pre-service students, to do work in Wayne because we know the quality of the teachers in Wayne. So why come to William Patterson from Wayne? It's in your back door. It's, it's cheap. It's, it's, it's a cheap, <laughs> when I say it's cheap, it's not that cheap, yeah, but, but it's, cheaper it is cheaper than, than, than <laughs> some others. And the quality of education that you will receive is excellent. So, I mean, those are the, those are the criteria that, that we ought to be looking at and the criteria that we should use. Thanks for joining us for this edition of INWP. If you want more information about the College of Education of William Patterson University, visit our website. We hope you've enjoyed this edition. INWP is an ongoing production of IRT that shines a spotlight on some of the exciting programs at William Patterson University. The broadcast production and support team enjoyed creating it, and we hope to see you for our next edition of I on WP. My favorite space? Oh, might be the cafeteria. I love the cafeteria. There's a beautiful pond in the back and I make sure that I have lunch in our cafeteria where I can overlook that pond. You can have lunch meetings downstairs, you can meet with students downstairs and you look out the gorgeous view in the windows and see the ducks in the pond and all of those other things out there, so that's, that's a nice, nice feeling. It's such a serene, wonderful place to gather your thoughts, to collect yourself, and to, to just take a step back and become reflective and gather your thoughts so you can continue through the day.